What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're all doing well today. Today we're on some OX bikes and I'm going to be having a go at this whole 450 outdoors thing. So I'm recording this video on... What's today today? Oh god, it's Monday. Monday the 10th. So it's been a couple of days has passed since you're watching it. And the reason that I'm recording this is that... Just, I am away right now whilst you're watching this and I wanted to get ahead of the curve and get all the videos up in time before I leave uh, which meant I had to forego doing the MX uh, Bikes GP race this day and this is a track that it would have been on which is in Maggiore in Italy and it's a track that I usually tend to have some good fun with on the other motocross games I've played it on whether it be uh, oh my Christ, whether it's MXGP or it's MX Simulator, it is always a good one. I do like, quite like the hilly tracks and I, there's kind of two things that I need to see how this this goes in this video. One of them is the hills, uh, being quite a hilly track and quite a steep hill track is something that MX Bikes dislikes. But then also 450s and outdoors. If anybody stopped by in my uh, 5 hour 50k special stream the other day, you would have seen the I didn't have many positive things to say about the 450s in outdoors. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just me. There are some people that can actually like fully bark these around a the track without having many mistakes at all. I just feel like the bike is incredibly unpredictable, both in the front and the back end at the most random of times. So I want to see how it goes. Firstly, around this track, I feel like this track will be a good test of... You know, like the bike handling the roughness, the bike handling the hills. You already saw it twitching around that corner just there. Oh god, we're going to land in some rough stuff. Lovely. I have done a lap in advance before we started this. Um, although I don't feel like I really needed it this time around because I think everybody at this point knows the layout of this track. It's uh, it's not really changed a whole lot over the years. The track layout stayed pretty much identical, and I'm happy that we finally got like a high quality version of this track as I got a bit of a frame start there. That was very very odd, and I think that goes for the entire season as well. Now, it's so nice to have fully like up-to-date, good-looking and good riding as well GP tracks. And uh, I just I think at the very, very start of the season, there was a little bit of worry um, about JB doing these because some of his tracks in the past, like the GP of Orleona in Russia or the GP of Oz in the Netherlands, I feel like I, I tend to look at them more as like works of art in terms of the visual side of things rather than tracks that particularly ride slash race really well. And I think JV's just found that really good middle ground of like rough but it still looks absolutely gorgeous and I, I'm just a very happy man. I'm glad that the game has, has got to this point so far this year and very excited to try all the other tracks that come out. I mean, I think it's a 17 or so round series. It's it's a very, very long one. So it's going to keep you guys all busy for quite some time. And yeah, so I'm not doing... Well, I, did, I didn't do, because this is all in the past now. Uh, I didn't do the MXGP race around here. Instead, we're going to just load up in a video and see how it goes. And I do want to say, we're going to keep things a little bit hush-hush. Because whether I should have this or not, or if it's public information, I do not know. However... Inside sources have sent me a setup that I'm currently using right now. I know, it's crazy. I don't usually use any setups on the 450s. I usually leave them completely stock. Um, but they have sent me a setup of a very, very fast individual on the game. Hmm. <laughs> ah, maybe, uh, maybe the suspension isn't that amazing. I'm not going to get a good view of this, am I? No, it's going orbit. I want to slow this right down. Let's see what happened. I feel like I just landed on, on a bump in the wrong way and front end went basically through, forks bottomed out, ejected over the bars, okay. More on me. I feel like it doesn't really matter what suspension you're using there. I feel like that might be the same result either way. Um, but it's just, it was weird. As I was entering this in compared to the default, uh, not so much on the suspension side of things, but on the uh, like others tab, you know, where you enter like your swing arm and your fork height and stuff, it was so different like it's complete opposite end of the spectrum to what i'm used to running so i'm very interested to see how it feels and handles and first impressions wise it feels pretty good on the back end in terms of grip uh front end has still had the few twitchy moments here and there but hasn't had anything near like what i was experiencing in my live stream the other day uh i was getting rather frustrated to say the least and that corner right there i've already at the time recording this seen a few people complaining about that one corner where it's uphill and I just need to start off camber, you know, is it? But it's like, it's on a slight bank uphill and you're trying to turn at the same time. That is like 
a prime example of somewhere where the 450 front end would usually really really struggle and i've seen already videos like alpha for example was taking a video of him going up there and the bike essentially just giving up on him and it looks at least from from his inputs and he's, he's not trying to push it too hard it's just like a, a normal lap nothing insane going on and the bike just kind of decides to have a lay down which is something that don't fully understand and if I'm honest with these 450s this this is 450 exclusively I want to say I really have very very few like gripes or issues with the 250s in this game with the beta 18 update I think they ride very very well of course they have their front end issues as well but I think a lot of it can be put down to because they handle really well and they've got lots of grip I feel like people might just push the envelope on them a little bit too much I like just try and force the front end to do more than it could possibly do IRL uh, but I don't think that's the case on the 450s I think there's a lot of weird crashes that you get on these which in real life I just couldn't see happening so I'd love to see another update to these beta 18 OEMs in the future just trying to fix these front end issues on this bike and I mean if if my services are called upon if I need to do any sort of testing in any way whatsoever I'm more than welcome to you know at the last Supercross round at Glendale I stayed up to do NA and my night was going so poorly in the first two races that I thought for the third one I'll just spice things up a little bit let me ride a bike that I just never usually ride hopped on the TM and it's it's honestly almost unridable you know the bike's so springy it's unreal and I feel like you shouldn't have to spend hours upon hours upon hours like slowly adjusting a clicker at a time on suspension for it to work because you don't have to do that on the Yamaha as an example, you know, stock Yamaha is perfectly acceptable in Supercross at least. Outdoors is, is another thing altogether. Um, I feel like every bike you should be able to hop onto and at least ride to a good level. But uh, it's night and day difference on some of these bikes. Uh, one bike that I think is pretty majorly slept on is the Kawasaki 450. I think it's actually faster than the Yamaha. But there's a little bit of underlying... It's like unpredictability about it is I feel like randomly every now and then the back end will just do its own thing which when you least expect it to when you feel like you're not lent over too far when you're nice and gentle on the power all of a sudden the back end will come round on you and then you'll be wobbling down the straight as if your arms have turned into jelly and you've got zero grip strength like I, I can't really replicate it but, you know if you're looking at my hand my analog stick like the bars just start doing that really really hard even if you're not turning this it's, it's all it's, there's a lot of moving parts to this game uh, parts are part, quite partially Pavoso's fault, parts are, are the OEM's fault as well, because obviously I feel like back in Beta 16 slash Beta 17 OEM's we didn't have this many issues with the 450's and I honestly think, I, I looked at signups for uh, NA Outdoors the other day at uh, Keegan's and I was genuinely shocked, I, I generally saw no, like a handful of big names when usually I would expect it to be stacked full of like all the people that usually do Supercross for example and I don't believe that's down to the tracks tool I do think that's down to the 450 bikes as a whole because the 250 class is starting to get more and more fast people dropping down to it and whilst 450 class should be considered the premier class I think it is a video game at the end of the day and people want to have fun playing their video game they don't want to sit there and stress out and have weird things happen to them constantly that probably shouldn't have happened so update in the future i would absolutely love uh, i'm gonna say so far that the setup feels pretty damn decent i've not i mean i, I have had some interesting moments i had one in this turn last lap um the uphill banked corners have had a little bit of front end issues but i haven't been going through a rut just yet and had the front end suddenly just go just had the back end go but i'm gonna put that down to me trying to accelerate and turn over a braking bump rather than it being down to any setup at all now you're all gonna hate me for this you're all gonna be like show us the setup what are you using but i don't think i should have this in the first place i got it from uh, a bit of an inside source uh, just like screenshots floating around so keep it to myself for now i'll play the cards close close to my chest and then i will investigate further to see if it is okay to be released because I mean, you, you can use like people who have videos like Reapadox got really good suspension setups as well. But I just thought, since I know that this person is very, very fast and just well established within the community, I thought I'd give it a go. And I mean, I've tried a bunch of different setups from different pros before. Uh, granted, they are all usually on Supercross. This is specific for outdoors. This isn't like a 
a best of both worlds one. Like there's one for outdoors and there is one for supercross. I, I might test a supercross one as well because I'm pleasantly surprised by this and I might see if I can try and transfer it over and like manipulate it onto other bikes. I, I know that you can never get exactly the same clickers across all bikes and you probably shouldn't even try getting as close to one bike as another just because of the different weight and handling and everything and power of delivery of all different bikes. I might just try it a little bit and see where it gets me because at this point in time I feel like if I'm riding the 450 class and I'm not on the Yamaha I feel like I'm at a massive disadvantage not, not even just to everyone else on the Yamahas but to myself as well. I can quite easily Let's say I do a lap on the Cowie that feels like a good lap. You know, it's one of them laps where the back end maybe doesn't kick out on me. And it just feels solid. I'm happy with it. I can leave the game, load it up back on the Yamaha again, and somehow run a second, two seconds faster without doing anything different and without, like, setting the world alight. It's just... It's like the, the start point of lap times is that much better on the Yami. And if, may, if, if they have to make the Yami worse along the line to make other bikes more viable then so be it i know they've done a bunch of updating to like the suzuki for example and i've tried the suzuki so many different times on so many different settings like that's one of the bikes i genuinely have sat down and really tried to work on a suspension for which i never usually do and i just i can't get it to do what the yamaha does it's it's night and day difference it's not even little things either it's the, there's not one thing the yamaha does worse than a bike like the suzuki which when you take all that into consideration, I feel like maybe the Suzuki might look a bit better in the first person perspective. Other than that, you're not winning at all. Uh, unless you are absolutely insane. I saw that uh, Das won the 250 class in uh, NA Supercross the other week on the Suzuki, so hats off to him. But can't see it winning any 450 stuff anytime soon. Unless one of the big boys like uh, Skills or maybe Hurls want to venture out and try and prove something on a different bike. I mean, Skills has already done that on the Cowie, so fair play to him for that, but I feel like everyone else kind of sticks to the same old, same old, and I, I'm in that same boat, you know, I'm not helping the cause at all, but I think I'm on the opinion of right now is why would I intentionally go and handicap myself by a good margin? It's not even a small amount. I mean, I'm not winning on the best bike in the game. There's no way I'm going to win on not the best bike either. Uh, I mean, last year was a different story. I managed to win a Supercross race on the Alter for crying out loud. You know, like, that thing was a huge disadvantage, but... I got very, very lucky on the round that it was. Um, I think that's like the one time Stoney's really messed up on the scaling and even the 450 class, we just end up like doubling around this entire track. I can't remember which one it was. It was, I want to say it was like second to last round, something along those lines. It was towards the back end of the season when I did have a, a healthy points lead. Um, but overall, uh, this has gone a little bit better than I expected it had done, just based on my previous 450 outdoors experiences since the Beta 18 update. Um, I might keep you posted because I said earlier on in this MXGP season that depending on where I am in points in 250s, if it's not looking like a championship at all, which it's not looking like, I'm about 40 points down in P3 at the moment and it'll be even more than that since I've missed this, uh, this Majora round. So maybe I'll try a 450 round or two. I imagine that I'll still get my cheeks clapped by the top boys because their speed is actually insane. Um, but maybe a top five, something like that, which I wouldn't hate. And if I practice this now and try and do a few 450 rounds, if they go okay, like this is going, just okay, not setting the world alight, then I might rethink my opinion on the AMA outdoor season. Because where it stands right now, I will be riding 250s. I have no desire to ride a 450 like properly throughout championship. It's just far more stress than it's worth but we'll see we'll play it by ear this has gone much better than expected no idea what i'm gonna do to title this video like what the whole concept's gonna be i feel like it's been more of like one of them good old podcasty type ones where i sit down and i just talk um but i think that i'll probably do it um hope you guys uh, uh, this is a very delayed like wishes by the way but hope you all had a very nice easter weekend I, I don't think i've actually mentioned that at all since it started it's it's weird now that i kind of do youtube as a as a job sometimes i i lose track of 
like time and days and I forgot that it was in the UK it was like a, a bank holiday on Monday so nobody went to work normally I turn up at the gym and it's like absolutely rammed for the people I'm like, oh my god what on earth is going on here and then it clicks and I remember and then you get like horrible noisy children outside screaming and playing and then it rains and hails at the same time and they all go inside and I turn into a very happy man again rather than the uh, grumpy old Lins. so that'll do it for me <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I would greatly appreciate it. Have a lovely rest of the day, wherever you're up to. I will catch you in tomorrow's video. Peace.